Matt, two new signings through the door today, Kegs Chalke and Jamal Blackburn. We'll start with Jamal. We're obviously after a goalkeeper. We've seen the big towering presence that he is. He'll bring a lot to the club. Yeah, um, the profile we've been looking for, um, the profile we had to be patient with. Um, he's got fantastic experience um, in terms of the levels that he's played at. He's played all around the world. Um, he's not played enough games to date. Um, that's what we're here to do for him, providing the opportunity to play as many games as he can this season. Um, but we're really positive about his signing and the influence he'll have on the group. We needed a big presence. Uh, we needed someone to take the pressure off the, the aerial bombardment that sometimes we face as a, a certain type of team with a lot of young players within that back unit and within the, the rest of the group as well. So uh, we really understood what Cam did, as, did for us last season in terms of his presence and personality and his character, um, not only on top of his, his playing contribution as well. And um, we expect the same from Jamal. You mentioned some of his experience there. He's played at championship level when he's come through the youth academy at Chelsea when he started his career. That's valuable experience for a League One club, isn't it? Yeah, but like I said, he's got to play more games of football. Um, due to whatever reason, he's, he's got to get those numbers up. Um, there's a reason why we've been able to sign him. Um, if he'd played more games, he's a championship level goalkeeper, if not a higher level than that. So we're really pleased to, to bring him to the football club. Um, and it's got to be a partnership which works both ways, um, where both parties get something out of it. Um, this time in 12 months, um, we're under no illusions where Jamal wants to be and expects to be. Um, but that's provided he has a good season with ourselves. Um, you've touched upon his previous experiences. He's never had a long, long stay at a football club. Um, this might not be the longest stay he has at a football club in terms of just one season, but it certainly can be a productive one. Obviously, we know you were looking in the loan market for a goalkeeper. Jamal is a permanent deal for that one year. I think it's so important that we have someone nailed down and, and you won't have that worry of, that the parent club may, may recall him. Yeah, that's partly you know, partly one aspect in relation to loan deals. Um, but we were open to loan deals as well. Um, we had some loan, loan options fall through. Um, but the profile we were looking for was the most important thing um, and the character and the age and everything that fits the bill with, with Jamal. Um, you've just seen him walk through the door so he's, a, he's certainly a physical presence. Um, he's got a product on top of that as well as well as being a commanding presence within the dressing room. Uh, we're looking forward to working with him. He worked previously with Scott when Scott was a player at Wickham so there's a part relationship there. Um, they know each other, they're comfortable with each other. They know each other's game in terms of what it needs on a daily basis. He has had a slight injury in pre-season so he's not done any training as of yet so we're cautious to, to put him straight back into the fold. He might not be available this weekend. We'll assess his fit fitness over the next few days um, and we'll build him into a position where he's available to play. And finally on Jamal, I think a goalkeeper is that position where they necessarily don't need loads of time to gel with their teammates. They, like you said, when they're ready, they can just go straight into the side. Yeah, look. Ideal scenario, you get him first day of pre-season, they get a lot of time to understand what's in front of them. Um, but we saw it with Cam last season, we've, we've seen it in the past. Um, Jokul came, came in, I think, on a, a Tuesday morning before Tuesday night game at like, Leighton Orient uh, with no training with a group whatsoever. Um, it's a different position, we, we, we know that, but you are still a, an important position on that football pitch and behind a lot of different personnel who is not met, he doesn't know any of our players, he doesn't quite know our ways, our defensive set-piece set up. So, you know, there's a lot of aspects which he's got to pick up in the next few days and next few weeks, but we can't rush that. Um, but we just remind for that way he's been in terms of his training his game time even at the back end of last season so we'll build him into a position to be his best version of himself moving on to kegs now on loan from southampton he's been with us for a few weeks training and he's clearly done enough to impress you to earn a loan deal yeah various aspects in relation to this loan deal um, obviously he impressed and we said it wasn't a trial at the time it was a case for us to have a look at kegs to for Kegs to have a look at us, um, for us to give some valuable feedback to Southampton in terms of where we see his game progressing. Um, but within that time, he, he certainly showed what he could do, um, not only in the games, but on a training um, basis as well. Um, and we're really grateful to Southampton. They've allowed this deal to go through in the circumstances it has. Um, it's took very little, if anything, out of our budget. So it still leaves us open to signing other players, maybe some other players in a similar position as well. So it's very much a, a partnership, similar to the, the plan we got for Jamal. This is a partnership with ourselves and Southampton, including including kegs where we develop his game, try and get him first team ready, get him hardened up in terms of senior, senior football and that physical aspect to the lower league football and league one which we're going into this season. Um, but we've seen enough from his playing side and his character um, to give us belief that he'll have an impact this season. When we did his interview with him just earlier, he said you know, the youth development aspect of the club was something that he'd noticed in his short time training with us and something he's 
really looking forward to working on like, like you've mentioned yeah look we want him to get game time um, but even when he's not getting game time we'll work on his game um, we've got a group of coaches who are hell bent on improving every single player at the football club um, young or old um, Kegs comes to ourselves from a, a parent club in Southampton a fantastic academy and a fantastic club Premier League level um, but he, he's, he can add certain aspects to his game and um, hopefully we can fine tune some, some details to get him more body hard and I always use that phrase um, certainly for young players who've played a lot of academy football whether it's 18s or 23s um, he's going out into the wider world and um, whether it starts at Lincoln this weekend or, or Port Vale the following week or the whole league schedule and the league campaign he'll get different experiences which he's not encountered before and um, we've got to guide him through those experiences while still adding layers to his game as well um, but he's got to have a good personality which we've shown in those couple of weeks which is why we've invested in him.